Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our first break of the Saturday 2019-2020 Panini Prism Basketball Blaster Edition. Five box blaster, pick your team number two. Now if you follow these instructions here, you will get a chance at the Pelicans in this five box blaster break. So let's see who's going to win the Pelicans. Let's sort all of your names by your first name. So Brenton got two teams, that's an entry. Brian Croft, two teams, an entry. Brian Peoples, two teams, an entry. Brian Crouch. Uh, four teams right there, two entries. We got Gary with three teams. For the purposes of the promo, two count, that's still an entry. Jehun with an entry. Jorge, entry. Catherine, entry. Kirk, two teams, one entry. Matt K, four teams, two entries. Matt Lieber, two teams, one entry. There we go. And Rhea, two teams. One entry. Should be 14 on this list. Yes, 14 right there. Blank list, new dice, and name on top after Snake Eyes. One and a one. One, two. And it's Brian Crouch. There you go. So congrats to you. got the Pelicans in this five boxer. Let's see if these five boxes are willing to cooperate with you and deliver you the guy on the box. The guy on the box. There he is. Man, these angles are all over the place. Do it live. It's a little bit better there. It's good, as good as it's going to get. So we're going for the guy in the box. Among others, this turned out to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good draft class. Now the big key for these guys is uh, is who's gonna who's gonna be the uh, who's, who's gonna keep it going. Is what I'm trying to spit out. I've got a feeling Zion's gonna be pretty good. I got a feeling John Morant will be just fine. But I guess I'm thinking more of maybe players that weren't expected to, you know, these are the top picks. So you, RJ Barrett, you know, you want guys like him. RJ Barrett to really have good second years. Jarrett Culver for the Timberwolves. You want that to happen. You know, Tyler Hero was a bit of a surprise. Was that just a flash in the pan, or does he have the goods to to keep it going in his second year? So there's a lot, lot of lot of fun question marks going into the NBA season, which is going to restart again before you know it. I think just before Christmas, and then we'll be back on the basketball train again. Now might actually be if you're if you want to be a sharp collector. Now might be a good time to uh, to buy low on some single cards. I would think. I think a while back, uh, I think Ryan S was saying, "Man, Trey Young prices seem to be awfully low." And he's, there's a, there were a couple uh, Hawks had a couple of rookies last year that maybe. You would hope that they would improve a little bit. Cam Reddish, DeAndre Hunter, you would think those guys should have should evolve. I hope they have evolved in the offseason, been working on their game. So a lot of exciting things. Draft next week as well. There will be a new crop of players to follow and chase.
you just picked up a team and pick your team three, Neptune. Thank you. Which pick your team three of what? We might have do we have do we have only one pick your team three on the site? I don't know. I don't know what where we're at on numbers. This break maybe? This is pick your team two. Yeah, I, we should be able to do another uh oh, okay, I'm assuming you're talking about this break then. Yeah, um, I'm, sh I'm sure we'll be able, to be able to do another five boxes this evening. Remember, no late night tonight, so buy early and often. We generally wrap things up around 9 o'clock Pacific. Sometimes we go a little bit later than that, but generally around there. 9, 10, around there-ish, depending on how things are going. LA time. So... Get your orders in early and often. Start locking in your breaks so we can get it added to the schedule. Otherwise, no big deal. We break seven nights a week, so whatever we don't do today, we'll be right back here tomorrow to break. But if there's a specific break that you want to see tonight, then buy your spots, get in early and often. If you already have a spot, maybe buy a second spot. If you already have two spots, maybe consider the third spot. If you have four spots, maybe consider a fifth, just to keep that momentum going. I'm got Kevin Knox. In the final grouping, the major That'll be for wait. I printed this out. There you go. Here's the official printout right here. Five box blaster. Pick your team two on Saturday the 14th, and that is Brenton with the Knicks. Lighting is a little weird this time of day, but there he is. There's David Robinson. Eric Jones Jr. Silver. D'Angelo Russell. Purple Wave. And LeBron James. Thanks, LeBron. For bringing the Larry O back to L.A. That goes to Catherine. I think no no vet commons unless they're parallels, or unless they're LeBron and uh, and Giannis. I think are the guys, and Luca, second year Lucas, Kobe Bryant's. Oh yeah, otherwise no vet commons. There's a Tyler Hero right up front. Miami Heat, Jay Hoon. Hopefully he keeps it up. We got a green pulsar, PJ Washington Jr. to 25, and that'll be for Charlotte. Gary Simpson with that. Some up upside for these Charlotte youngsters as well, and an autograph. I was just talking about Jared Culver right here, rookie penmanship. Jared Culver could be interesting. Minnesota could be an interesting team. They have the number one overall pick. They have D'Angelo Russell for an entire season. They still have Carl Anthony Towns, who's pretty good. If Jared Culver takes the next step in the offseason, plus their number one overall pick, starting to look like a decent team at that point. Brandon Clark for Matt Lieber. It's pretty good. John Morant adjacent. So he gets, gets some space and gets some work in. There's De'Aaron Fox, a fox in the box, purple wave for Brian Crouch and the Kings. I think these are exclusive to this set, pretty sure. And a silver, prism silver, Grant Williams. Nice. Gary with the Celtics. Celtics had a bunch of draft picks last year. One of these guys have to has to work out, right? Maybe it's going to be Grant Williams. And then I think, yeah, there's a John Morant relic. Look at this. He's got the hoop with him. 
That's pretty cool. Matt Lieber with the Grizz. There's KCP. Lakers have a lot of uh, decisions to make. I think he's, he's going to be back. Lakers have a lot of decisions to make regarding who they put around LeBron and AD. There's a Giannis, there's Grant again, and a Quindary Weatherspoon. Gotta save these Prism Silvers. Thanks, Troy. Spurs, Brenton with the Spurs. And yeah, you know, back in the day, you know, when we when we were uh, doing pri Giannis's rookie year prison, those rookie silvers, rookie cards weren't really worth at that time. wasn't really worth anything. In fact, Giannis was was not the superstar that he is that he is today. There's probably a lot of group breaks that you guys have done with us where where you've uh, buried some Giannis silvers in a shoebox somewhere. Or maybe even sold them for like five or ten bucks now. Jalen Nolan, Jersey, Jorge, Timberwolves. Jordan Clarkson, Silver. And one more blaster to go. Another Tyler Hero base rookie card for Jae Hoon. Another Giannis for Brian Crouch and the Milwaukee Bucks. No sign of Zion yet. There's Derrick Rose for the Pistons. And that classic Pistons lime green. No, it's from his previous team. Right there, but still goes to the Pistons in this case. That'll be for Jorge. We got Green, Gordon Hayward. Is he part of some trade rumors? There's an emergent Ja Morant. We want to see the base cards. That's the that's the one. What do we got here? It's Michael Bridges and Alfonso McKinney. All right, so nothing too earth shattering there, but that was a fun blaster break. We got another five boxes in the shop. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. And we'll break more of that with you next time. Bye-bye.